Today we are going to talk about coronary artery aneurysm and its treatment. So the destruction and weakening of the medial layer causes the uh, coronary artery aneurysm. Chronic overstimulation with endogenous nitrous oxide is responsible with ulceration and remodeling consistent, uh, consistent with advanced atherosclerosis and direct effect of elevatory inflammatory mediators like uh, metallo uh, Proteinase. Atherosclerosis uh, in the innermost uh, uh, is the most common cause, and various vasculitides, including Kawasaki, polyarthritis, nodosa, and Takayasu, connective tissue disease such as Ehlers Danlos syndrome, sepsis, trauma, and cocaine use, are all important etiologies. Present with incidental finding uh, during chest imaging, can present with angina, ACS, arrhythmias, and um, aneurysm rupture, and uh, tamponade and superior vena cable syndrome. And sizes could be less than 5 mm, medium 5 to 8 mm, or giant more than 8 mm. And there is uh, little evidence that there is a relationship between the increasing mortality risk and aneurysm size and morphology could be fusiform, secular, and presence of concomitant stenosis like Marcus system classification can be used. Coronary angiography um, is used to evaluate and multi-slice CT um, is also helpful in diagnosing the, the coronary aneurysm. Same as uh, CMR and uh, IVUS can be used in, as a diagnostic modality. So only few of these studies have thoroughly examined the natural history of the giant uh, coronary aneurysm, which has made the management of these lesions controversial. Uh, no studies to support uh, warfarin. So the patient uh, who are not in urgent uh, need uh, of care, in whom the incidental uh, the aneurysm is found incidentally are asymptomatic, have reassuring ECGs, have a negative cardiac enzyme. Some advocate uh, follow up using the CT and patient who require urgent care, those who are present with unstable symptoms, abnormal ECG and a rise in the cardiac enzyme levels show the signs of impending compromise including the internal thrombosis or dissection. Both surgical and percutaneous methods of intervention have been described. In summary, uh, uh, giant aneurysm are uncommon and the malformations that can occur in a variety of disease states but due to atherosclerosis and the definitive diagnosis with in, uh, invasive angiography may be difficult and CD uh, angiography provides a better assessment. Unstable patient should be treated with bypass and PCI and the stable patient should probably manage conservatively. So the localized aneurysm uh, at the midpoint of the coronary artery are treated with the excision of the wall and research suturing to form uh, a more uh, normal sized coronary artery. Fistulas located in the circumflex distribution distal to the right coronary artery or atriventricular groove are more safely treated by the use of cardiopulmonary bypass and a running matrix suture is uh, discouraged as this can lead to recurrence of the fistula. Extensive aneurysmal formation may require deroofing, closure of the coronary artery and the distal coronary artery bypass grafting. A fistula draining the pulmonary artery is best treated by overswing from inside the pulmonary artery. The difficult management decisions are compounded due to the presence of the concomitant stenosis and uh, diverse anatomical involvement and aneurysmal morphologies, differences of the acute complications such as thrombosis, plaque rupture, and dissection. From the surgical perspective, the pertinent question is whether a vessel should be ligated, whether the aneurysm should be excised or plicated, or whether the thrombus should be removed. So hope you like uh, this presentation. If there's any uh, feedback, please let me know. Thank you.